As an automotive journalist, I get to drive a different car every week. That's part of the joy of my job. When you drive a different car every week, you learn the ins and outs of that car. And this week, I'm driving the 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe all-wheel drive sport. And boy, this car is surprising, especially the number two surprise. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. The number three unexpected surprise isn't all that surprising, especially if you read the automotive news. This Hyundai Santa Fe is supposed to get in the low 20s combined MPG. In fact, I'm getting 18.6, you know, which isn't bad for a big five-person crossover, especially one that doesn't have a CVT and has a turbocharged engine, which is thirstier than a regular, normally aspirated engine. Number two surprise is this Microsoft like hello and welcome to your Hyundai chime which is appropriate for this technology packed video anyway the number two surprise for real is the size of the buttons that Hyundai has engineered in the car for instance these heated seat buttons they're ginormous and that's exactly what you want you come in out of the cold say you're skiing here in Colorado your fingers are frozen and you want those heated seats on if you've got these little tiny buttons hard to push but these ginormous buttons easy Hyundai did a really good job in nailing just the right size for the control button alright here's the biggest surprise of all I'm in the brand new Ford Explorer and I was gonna use this vehicle to show you the difference in button sizes because this car has little teeny tiny buttons and if you look over here for instance the heated seat button is well about as big as my finger so it's easy to miss but the biggest surprise of all is that Ford sync system has completely locked up so uh, yeah this is an unexpected surprise to be sure and one I think that Ford understands all too well because every time I've ever had a car with a sink it has had some kind of issues and this time no exception I fear. The number one unexpected surprise is this little blue link app that comes with I guess when you get the car. In fact they gave me this iPhone to try it out so what you can do is actually remote start the car but before I can do that I have to enter a password which let me see here is blue link 2012 so let me put that in there B L U E L I N K 2012 okay done demo login it's trying to log in incorrect password of course let me try that again B L U E L I N K 20 well, kind of hate passwords. Done. All right, let's see if it logs in this time. It's trying to log in. Hopefully it'll be successful and I'll be logged into the app. I'm successful. So I'm going to pick the vehicle, which is right there. All right, and one of the things I can do is I can remote start it with my little iPhone app. What a wonderful, oh, it needs an input. And the input pin is one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, that's done. Now I can remotely start my brand new Santa Fe. Here I go. Remote start processing. And I got the little bar. Remote start still processing. Hmm. You know, there used to be an old joke that went something like this. When you bought a Ferrari or a Fiat, you needed a live in Italian mechanic because well, they always had issues. Feels like today, when you buy a car, you need to live in IT guy or gal <laughs> because <laughs> obviously the technology that's built into these cars is not ready for prime time, at least not this afternoon. As always, remote start processing. This is Roman Micah. Don't forget that starting tomorrow, we're going to have wall-to-wall -to -wall team coverage of the LA Auto Show. Oop. It just beeped at me. 
and it said uh, your vehicle did not start please try your request again well i'm glad i got a text that my vehicle did not start because obviously without the text i wouldn't have had a clue all right see you tomorrow take care as always this is roman very frustrated with technology today All right, here's something interesting. I just got a text from the car and it says, we received a curfew alert from your 2013 Santa Fe Sport on da, 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 that it was near 1695 Main Street, Longmont at 9.17 p.m. So apparently, and this is kind of spooky, you can set up a curfew and if the car violates or breaks that curfew, so I guess the thinking is if you have a stray teenager and the kid goes out after 9 p.m. in the car, you're gonna get a text letting you know where and when that car was. I'm not sure I like that. It's a little bit intrusive, don't you think?